Today, I will be talking on jobs and unemployment issues of Singaporeans. You see, I am a graduate from NUS and I am unemployed. Today, if you are a graduate, you are branded as someone asking for a high pay and employers insult you by comp comparing you as no better than a poly graduate. My unemployment woes started when I graduated and there was an economic recession in 2003. Since then, I have not heard any good news in the media about a good economic recovery. As I go for a routine walkabout, I heard of many cases of Singaporeans who are out of a job and in financial difficulty. The influx of foreign talent greatly threatens our livelihood such that we cannot help but be hostile towards foreigners as they become a bane in our society. Everything that belongs to Singaporeans has been given away to foreigners. In sports, we look for foreign talent, and at work, we look for foreign talent also. One can only look at SIA's recruitment website at how rampant they hire foreigners when we have so many of our qualified citizens to take up the job as flight stewards and stewardesses. Why is everything given away, and what is left for Singaporeans in the end? My fellow first Singaporeans, this must not be so. We are the true sons and daughters of Singapore, and our needs must come first, not neglected or made second place to foreigners. Without us, Singapore will not be Singapore, for we form the core of Singapore. We mustn't keep quiet anymore and let someone else run the show for us. We must learn how to govern ourselves, and democracy is one way through which we take charge of our lives. There ought to be an economic restructuring and recruitment restructuring when hiring Singaporeans and foreigners so that Singaporeans are not shortchanged. To look at Singapore and Singaporeans as just mere numbers is to be inhumane. We are not some economic numbers that are to be manipulated and controlled like in the reports about Singapore's falling birth rate and the need for more immigrants to replace the lack of Singaporeans. One should look at the reasons why couples are having less babies now and look into the problem instead of always turning to foreigners so readily every time we have an issue cropping up. Doesn't it make you angry that in Singapore our birth right is not taken seriously? The right to a livelihood here, to have a job, a life and much, much more? Doesn't it infuriate you that a foreigner, a Singaporean worker is always compared as less hardworking than a foreign worker and our Singapore government doesn't stand up for us? That is why we need to vote for Kenneth Jayaratnam because he is standing on our side and not always putting us down like what has been happening these years. He stands up for Singaporeans just like the song Stand Up for Singapore. He stands up for our sake, from our monetary concerns to non-monetary ones. Aren't you sick of a parliament that hardly has your voice and concerns factored in and now you can vote for one to have your voice and concerns heard effectively? The time is now. We can't waste another few more years or months having no say in parliament. Vote for the reform party and you, got, and you are voting for your rights. We need to put Singaporeans first in every job and recruitment because our needs should and ought to come first. Thank you.